prints and cake and only people want their kids. This is a monster hit. This was a US number one. This was a huge hit. Tom Jones has covered this hit. It's on the hits um, album by Prince, the very best of Prince, ultimate Prince, you name it, everywhere you go. People who haven't even heard of Prince have often heard of Kiss. Kiss was a runaway smash. Um, obviously part of the Under the Cherry Moon film. This song is interesting in that Prince originally passed the song on to Maserati group to work on. They were kind of playing about with it. It was originally again, an acoustic blues kind of slow jazz feel and they worked on it and uh, played about with it and then Prince had it the next day and said, do you know what, that's too good for you. He goes, I want that track back. Prince took it back, took out the bass, added the guitar part and then recorded his own vocals an octave higher than it originally been recorded and said, you know, basically I'm having this track. Um, it's one of those things that Prince kind of let somebody else play with the track, but thought this is a phenomenal track. So Dave Rivkin got a credit on that track to say that he was, uh, you know, he helped with the arrangement, although really he kind of helped with the whole concept of, the, of this track. Now this is a song which is a song of two halves. You've got the original Kiss, and then you've got the extended version, the, the full length version with the horns, and um, it, it plays about, it rumbles, there's, there's humour in it where Prince has this kind of conversation. Um, and with, with him and another woman's name, Sol, Sol, turn on that television, and you know, I don't know. It's just, it's just brilliant. It's, it's, it's humorous, it's funny, it's a classic Prince song. The guitar work by Wendy, absolutely phenomenal. You see the, uh, you see the video of Prince and Wendy, and it kind of plays about with the androgyny Prince has, where he's kind of taking almost a female role. He's dancing and stripping in front of Wendy, and Wendy seems like, please don't do that. It's just pure humor, fantastic. It's, it's a great bit of humour in the song as well about acting your age, not your shoe size, and uh, you don't have to watch Dynasty to have an attitude, which he has changed over the years to in the UK when he performed in 2007 at the Dome. He said you don't have to watch Big Brother to have an attitude. He's changed that over the years. The only criticism people have of this song is that, that it's almost expected that he'll play this. It, it's, it's been played about a lot of times, and Prince has often changed it. It always seemed that Prince was never quite happy with the arrangement he got live. For many years, almost 10, 20 years, he played about with it, he wasn't quite sure. It seemed to change. Every time he performed it, it was slightly different. But I think now he's kind of got it to where he wants it to be. But it is one of those songs, uh, like Cream, uh, you know, Purple Rain, obviously, to an extent, that people who aren't Prince songs have heard, who aren't Prince fans have heard of the song. And people who are fans kind of love it, but sometimes want something perhaps a bit rare or something out of the vault, possibly, instead of just hits, hits, hits. So uh, it kind of serves two different functions there. But anyway, a phenomenal track.